Today on Always Hungry, we're making a salt-crusted striped ski bass. Let's go. Okay, so we have a nice striped bass, about two pounds, and we have the scales on because you don't want the salt to get in the meat. So keep the scales on, you can get the fins off, and then uh, we're gonna put some aromatics in there and then get going with the salt crust. Okay, so first step, we're gonna start with some lemon slices. That should be good. And we put these right inside the fish like this. Next up, we have some beautiful tarragon here. We put one sprig, two in there. Go crazy, guy. You know, you can even like put it through his mouth. Like this and some fresh thyme. Put some in there. Okay, cool thyme in there. I also have some beautiful rosemary from the garden. And we're gonna finish with some sliced shallots. What that's gonna do is seal all these beautiful aromatics inside the fish, trapped in this crust of salt. It becomes some sort of like a sauna of goodness inside the fish. Okay, good. Our friend, the striped bass is nicely stuffed. And there you have it, a nice striped sea bass filled with some herbs, shallots, and lemon. Look at this. So for now, we'll put this in the fridge and work on the salt crust. Okay, salt crust. I have here two one kilo bag of coarse salt. We'll do, kind of like eyeball this thing, so two full bags in there. Now, in another bowl, a little trick. In order to get the salt to stick to your fish and become this beautiful crust, need something to bind it. And that's why we're gonna use egg whites. I'm probably gonna be use, using six egg whites for this. So you can put the yolks in a separate bowl and keep them for, you know, whatever you want, a little omelet. Now, this step is not mandatory, but a nice trick to get a beautiful golden crust is to beat your egg whites until you get some soft, soft peaks, just like a, like a meringue. So you're gonna whisk these for a bit, get some air in there, getting there, you just can't stop, you know? Oh my God, it's so hard. A little more. Look at this, soft peaks. Soft peaks, okay, cool. At this point, you could go crazy and add some lemon zest in there, some aromatics, but since the fish is already stuffed with all the good stuff, we keep the salt as is. All right, now we just fold it in. Just fold it in, guys. And there you go, solid crust. Okay, it's time to have our fish wrapped up in a blanket of salt and egg whites. So we're gonna start with the base here, in the middle like this. Kind of like, have the same shape as a fish, if that makes sense. Okay, that's our base. Now the fish is gonna go right on top. It's a bit long, it's a bit long. And then what we're gonna do is cover it up. Also make sure like this is well closed before you do that. So salt doesn't get inside the fish. At this point, you know what? You can get your fingers in there too, it's fine. I'm gonna completely cover it up. Now that we have the fish all wrapped up in salt, we're gonna put it in an oven set on 400 degrees Fahrenheit. Again, you know, pizza oven, we'll see how it goes. Um, I'm gonna start, I'm gonna put the head first because obviously uh, most of the heat is in the back and the tail, it takes less, less time to cook. So head first like this. And in she goes. For, for the time, I think we have to like kind of uh, play it by here on this one. Uh, once we see the, the salt crust, becoming nice and golden brown, or maybe burnt, we'll see. Uh, that's probably a naked that the fish is ready to go. So I'd say probably 25 to 35 minutes in there. Like I said, keep an eye on it. Now, before the fish gets out of the oven, we're gonna work on a beautiful lemon sauce. Kind of like a mix of like a sabayon and an hollandaise sauce. So we're gonna start with a bain marie water bath. So we have water here, bowl on top. I'm gonna melt 120 grams of butter in there. Oh, we know eat. Perfect. And while this is melting, we're gonna incorporate 
uh, you know the egg yolks we had before, these ones? I'm gonna put, I'm gonna try to put like uh, one, two, and three. And we're also gonna squeeze some fresh lemon juice in there as well. Start with this much. We're gonna whisk vigorously. And making sure not to cook your egg yolk. Not an omelet, guys, it's just tough. All right, now we're at the crucial step where we're pretty much good to go. See there, the texture. That's exactly what you're looking for. Like almost like a custard. Perfect. And when you get to this point, it's gonna be time to incorporate our butter, melted butter here. So a little bit like this, kind of like you're doing a mayonnaise. Keep going gradually. Make sure it doesn't split. And also scrape the sides, take it off the heat. Now at this point, you can even add some more lemon juice when it gets too thick. Because I want it to be very, very lemony. And also when you get to this point, it's a bit too thick. What you can do is add some cold water in there. Or like lukewarm water, I guess. There you go. Good, now we can get rid of the water for now. Obviously, we can season this. And now just to show you guys the texture, that's what it should look like, see here? Now, I'm gonna season this with some freshly cracked pepper. Salt. Look at this sauce. The sauce is good to go, it's delicious. I'm gonna put this in a little container for now and keep that room temperature. Okay, it's been uh, about 30, 35 minutes and our fish is beautiful and golden. Look at this crust. Woo. Wow, that's perfect. Now, I guess the best thing to use would be like a mallet, but we don't have one. So we're gonna try this guy here, a good old metal spoon. So the goal here is to kind of crack it in big, large pieces so you don't have salt all over your fish. So we'll see how it goes. Oh, well, didn't quite work the way I thought it was gonna work. But what you can do is just kind of push the salt on the sides, reveal this beautiful striped bass. Okay, now it's time to scoop the fish out of this salty madness. Okay, so at this point, you have to be very gentle. It's kind of stuck in the salt. Okay, time to check out the inside of this fish. It looks very juicy to me. Pretty much open it like that. Oh my God, look how juicy that is. Now we can remove our aromatics. It smells so good. It looks perfectly cooked and juicy to me. Now at this point, I'm gonna keep opening up the fish like this. You can use your fingers, that's fine. And look how juicy this meat is falling off the bone. Look at this. Oh my God. See, you can take the bigger bones out. And people always ask me, is it too salty? Like with the salt crust? No, that's the goal. The fish is just perfectly seasoned. It traps in all the flavor. Now at this point, you can even eat it pretty much in the same plate. I'm just gonna kind of dress the fish here. So I'm just getting all the big bones out to make our life easier and this experience more enjoyable. Now at this point, our fish is ready to be eaten, but we're gonna do some fresh olive oil on top like this. You know, keep everything moist. A bit of lemon juice. And you can eat the fish as is right now, we're delicious, but we're not gonna stop there. We have this beautiful lemon sauce to go on top, look at this. And to finish up this fish, some fresh chives, finely chopped. Okay, and then sprinkle that over. And it's finally time for my favorite part of every single episode, tasting time. Oh, that's not a sign. No. That's the one. Just look at this fish. It's 
juicy, it's beautiful, it's perfectly seasoned, it smells amazing. And now, it's bite time. Oh, look at this piece here. It's so fucking juicy. Wow. You know, no need for size sometimes, guys. Sometimes it's all about the fish, you know? Let the fish be the star of the show. Mm. The fish is so juicy. You can taste the lemon from the sauce, but also from being in there. In the crust, you can taste the herbs, but it's not too overpowering. And yeah, nice little olive oil, lemon sauce. You're good to go. Thanks for watching, guys. Remember, subscribe. Leave a comment, like the video, and we'll see you on the next episode of Always Hungry.